Well, I hope you've never met a person quite like Doeg, the Edomite. He was a nasty piece of work, hanging around at the tabernacle, watching what was going on and reporting back to Saul, who was the king. The result of his handiwork was that a whole bunch of the priests were literally slain and he got involved in the act of massacre. And David, when he heard about it, was really grieved and upset, but also realised that Doeg was really hostile towards him personally. Whatever disputes you've been in, it's probably unlikely that you've experienced anything quite like, or anyone quite like Doeg. Psalm 52, why do you boast, O evil man? The steadfast love of God endures all day. That encapsulates the message of this psalm, which is you breathe out all this stuff. You, you're, well, let's read it. You, your tongue plots destruction like a sharp razor. You worker of deceit. You love evil more than good, lying more than speaking what's right. You love all words that devour. O oh, deceitful tongue. David doesn't want to get involved with him personally. He wants to hand him over to God. And the next few verses are exactly that. Handing over to God rather than trying to take matters into your own hands. So he says, God will break you down forever. He will snatch and tear you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous shall fear and shall they shall see and fear and shall laugh at him saying see the man who would not make God his refuge you see there's the difference if we make God our refuge no matter who says or does what to us we can live independent of all that because the source the foundation of our security of our joy of our well-being and our peace in life is God himself I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the steadfast love of God forever. I will thank you forever because you have done it. I will wait for your name for it is good in the presence of the godly. That's a great attitude to be able to have. Of course, it takes amazing strength to stand up in a, in a, in a situation where you feel that you are the target, the victim, and that you're feeling hurt and wounded. But the steadfast love of God, if that is what feeds us, that is what secures us, then we can say, I'm like a green olive tree and I'm full of thanksgiving. And nothing that you say or do can stop that. If God is for me, who can be against me? Doeg, you're over. You're history, mate. I'm standing in the courts of God with the godly people and I will endure forever. Hallelujah.